Welcome to the Linux commands lab. Here we'll be running different Unix commands. The first one is PWD, which stands for Present Working Directory, providing the location where you are right now. LS is the list files command, helps us to identify all the files, along with the argument LL would help us to know the long listing, giving more details about when was the file created and so on and so forth. LS minus LA provides us accessibility to hidden files in unix which start with dot you see the last two starting with a dot and they are hidden files which are available now moving to commands with directories we first have mkdr by doing this command we have created a folder or directory called work1 To remove a directory, you can use rm and dash r is recursive, including all the subdirectories and files within that particular directory. You have to be careful about this command because there is no coming back once you have deleted the files and directories. So you notice over here that particular folder has been deleted, deleted now. To navigate between directories, you use cd change directory. By doing double dot, you go to one parent level up. By doing cd tilde, you go to the home directory, which is in this case happens to be home and cloud era for this particular user. You can specify any particular directory where you want to navigate and ls in particular files within that directory. This helps us to navigate between different com directories and be able to move files. CP stands for copy, where you can copy a particular file from one directory location to another. And here you notice the file text was copied into the work folder under Cloudera directory. So we were able to successfully copy a file. Similarly, move directory helps us to move from one particular location to another. It can be also used to rename a particular file also. Here, if you want to read a particular text, let's try to do cat, which is a command. It's an editor command, which helps us to read the content within a particular file. So let's say this particular content is present in the file and you want to, read, want to see it on command line. Cat could be a useful command for that. Here we are doing rm, which is going to delete a particular uh, file. And you notice the file is deleted now. Gedit is just an editor which can be enabled some point of time and you can write particular text. It is just a text editor could be used or you could use some other text editor vi or cat for that matter and here we are just writing to our work.txt file and just using the cat command to see that text on the command line stat can help us to find information about the particular file and in all of its statistical details like size, how much blocks, etc. and etc. WC provides us the word count for that particular file, how many lines, how many characters, and other details are. Sometimes you need to change the owner of a particular file, and here is the way to do it. It's using change owner. You can also change the group using change inch group for a particular already created group. You 
you can perform change mode to change permissions of a particular file by giving the read, write, and execute permissions uh, as per your requirement. PS is very handy to you find the processes. To view a running processes, you can identify all the process or a particular one. Finally, if you want to change the password, you can use pass wd, which helps us to change the password for a particular user. Change attribute is used for changing a particular attribute within a particular file. It's an advanced file attributes which have been changed. Tail is a very useful command to know the last few lines of the particular file. So we are just seeing the last few lines. You can specify how many lines if you want as an argument as well. Grep is one of the most handy commands to use identify a particular text within a file. So we are finding Tom in the file student and that's what we have found over there. Replace can be done between set command sed and the first expression is replaced by whatever has been specified. Then we look into the set out here replacing particular words and that's the output of it. Head is opposite of tail. You identify the top few lines within a particular file. These are very handy to find information on a running file. If you want to find a file type, file is a command which can help you identify the type of a file. Here we identify ASCII file, which is the type of the file students.txt. And man is a command to see the manual display pages online. And finally, we perform the sort command, which helps us to get the data in a file.